applications, related rates, no? So we have independent X normally, independent Y, but we will be differentiating them, what, relative to another variable, okay? So para na mangyayari, yung X will be dependent also, and the Y dependent where? To the third variable, normally time, okay? But X depends on, but Y depends on X. If you know, for instance, mm, rates of some other quantities, and you want to find the rate of the other quantity, then you'll be able to find that, no? As long as, of course, enough information. Let's take the following examples. If y equals 3x minus x cubed, and x is increasing at the rate of one third unit per second, how fast is the slope of the curve changing when x equals three? Well, let's analyze. Given, we're given what? Y equals 3x minus x cubed. What else? We're given the rate of x, meaning derivative ng x with respect to time. What? Let t be the time. And that is equal to one third. So since positive, it means it is an increasing rate. If negative, it means it is a decreasing rate. But this is positive, so x is increasing. And what is the slope of the curve, guys? Y prime is what? I mean, y prime is slope of what? Of curve. Or the slope of y equals 3x minus x cubed at any x. Clear, children? Guys? What are we looking for, guys? Oh, we're looking for the derivative of what? Rate of change of what? <laughs> dy over dt. dy over dt. No, that's not what we're looking for. Oh, try another one. Almost close. We are looking for dm over dt. Dm over dt. What is your m? Oh, sir. Yeah. M is the slope. So, Tizinia says derivative of y prime with respect to t correct. No, that is what we are looking for. At the instant that x is what is equal to 3 and the derivative of x with respect to t is equal to yeah, one third unit per second. Actually, ang, ba, ang, ang unit ng x is unit also. No particular unit. Okay? Oh, so let's now determine that. First, we have to get the derivative. Uh, what's the derivative of y with respect to x? Guys, uh, what's the derivative? 3 minus 3x squared. Okay, children? Uh, we now get the derivative of y prime with respect to t. Uh, what's the derivative of 3 with respect to t? Zero. What's the derivative of x squared with respect to t? That is... 2x dx, derivative of x with respect to t times negative 3. So negative 6x times derivative of x with respect to t. Is that clear, children? Remember, we are differentiating x also with respect to t. So we don't have to stop with negative 6x. Unlike in the first derivative here, we are getting the slope of the curve. And the slope of the curve is... 3 minus 3x squared. We are differentiating relative to x. Uh, I, can, I can now find the value. When x is equal to 3, guys, and derivative of x with respect to t is equal to one third unit per minute. I personally, per second. Uh, what's the value? 
Or you just substitute negative six times three times one third. Or oh, that is equal to. Finally, we get negative six unit per watt. Guys, per second. Na? Okay, children. Guys. Whatever unit is that. What about number two? I think number two. Hmm. So, pag sinagot niyo yung uh, ang tanong, the slope is changing. Yan. The slope is changing. At the rate of negative six unit per what? Per second, okay? Or if you do not want to use the word changing, the slope is decreasing at the rate of six units. Six units, okay? Six units. You are going to remove negative. Pag sinabi mong decreasing, decreasing at the rate of six units per second. What about number two? Or given. So we have isosceles trapezoid. Two bases of an isosceles trapezoid are 12 feet and 20 feet long, respectively. Find the rate at which the area is changing when the equal sides are five feet long and are increasing at the rate of two feet per minute. So from here, we must be able to identify those that are changing and those that are not. Okay, children? Oh. This is not drawn to scale. So this is our trapezoid. Yeah. Well, let me have on top 12 units. So 12 feet. This is how a trapezoid looks like, no? Get it, guys? Okay, children, guys, yeah. And then below, 20 feet. These are running parallel, no? Am I correct, guys? With this one, yeah. running parallel. And they are equal, these two legs, because I saw see less trapezoid. Okay, and let this be X. This leg, this is also X. And that is varying at what rate it is increasing or getting longer at the rate of what? Because positive, two feet per minute. For every minute, it is increasing at the rate of two feet. Okay? So we need to get what? What are we required? What are we required, guys? So we're given derivative of x, how, that is how fast, relative to time, the leg is changing. Two feet per what? Per, per minute. Okay, guys? Two feet per minute. So we are looking for the derivative of a with respect to time. How fast the the area is changing with respect to time t. Okay, when what? The moment your x is five feet long. And at the same time, the rate is what? Of x is two feet per minute. Yeah. Okay, well, let's determine. Mm. So how to form area, guys? What's the area? Area of a trapezoid is one half the height times the sum of the bases. Bases are fixed. Height is changing because the legs are changing. This is the height, guys. That is changing also. 
if this is 12, this is also high. So if this is 12, this is 12 also, no? Am I correct, children? This part, this is 12 also. And this is four, no? And this is four. Four feet, four feet on the sides. The total here is 20 feet. So that's the total. Am I right, children? So I can express height in terms of x because we're what we are given information about x. So from there, we can apply what? Trigonometry, no? I'm not really sure if you had trigonometry in senior high, but this is how it goes, Pythagorean theorem. So x squared is equal to what? Hmm. H squared plus four squared. Okay, so what is height? That is X squared plus or minus, minus 16, no? Then take the square root. So that is my H. Is that right, guys? Hmm. Children. So, Going back to the formula, area is equal to one half. What's the base? Is square root, I mean the height, square root of x squared minus 16. But what is the sum of the bases? 12 plus 20, these are fixed, not changing. Simplifying, we get 32, so that is 16. When divided by two over, I don't know, 16 times square root of x squared minus, 16 times square root of x squared minus 16. So that's my area. Uh, I can now differentiate this relative to time. So derivative of A with respect to T is equal to oh, 16 times, oh, how do we differentiate radical, guys? Derivative of the radical, 2x times, derivative of x with respect to t, because we are differentiating relative to time, both what, the a and the x, over two is square root of, that's the shortcut for the differentiating radical, right? Hmm. So two is canceled here. So getting what? What's the simplified form? 16x, derivative of x with respect to t over e square root of six x squared minus 16. Oh, we are now ready to get the value. So when x is equal to five feet and derivative of x with respect to time is equal to two feet per minute, or oh, what is the instantaneous rate of change of area with respect to time. So 16 times five no? times two all over is square root of 25 minus 16. That is five squared, 25 minus 16. Oh, that is equal to, oh, what's the value, anyone? Thank you guys. Guys, yan wala ang kalpyo ko. Anyone? Children? Children? Wala akong kalpyo. Hold on, Che. What's the value? Guys? What's the value? 160 over? Guys, over three, three. feet is square feet, no? Square feet for every minute. Why is it square feet, children? For every minute, the unit area. Area is changing. So 160 over three square feet for every minute. At the instant, the, the leg of the, the legs of the trapezoid are each five feet 
no? And the rate of x is 2 feet per minute. Okay, children? Oh, let's have, oh, so how do we interpret this, guys? Oh, our final answer, actually, if you are going to answer, so therefore we have the area yeah, is changing. at the rate of one hundred sixty over three square feet for every minute. Okay. Yeah. What about number three? Sir, excuse me. I have a question. Yes. Yeah. Sir, uh, I said when you uh, differentiated a, uh, you used a different uh way sir i did the i the radical i made it raised to one half okay it's all right uh, we discuss way of differentiating so, that so there's a shortcut to, for the derivative yes sir. so we don't have to follow like strictly your solutions exactly no 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 and, you can uh, use yes. to the one half as long as right, correct sir. mathematically wag lang yung ang ayaw ko lang nagsusulat kay equals ganyan yan no? ang equals ang layo sa fraction when you put equal sign, it is at the middle of the bar. It is being taught in elementary. Okay, children? Guys? Oh, a spherical balloon. Oh, how does a spherical balloon look like? Uh, we are going to draw a cir circular thing, no? Pero supposed to be 3D. Okay, children? Yan. Ay, mahirap gawa ng circle. Yan. Kunyari, circular balloon yan. Ay, balloon yan, ha? Okay, guys. Kunyari na lang. O, yan. Yan daw ang ating circular balloon. O, lagyan natin ng something like this. Para magmukhang 3D. Yan. 3D, not Panasonic, not Standard, not Union. It's 3D. Oh, we call this radius. Am I correct, guys? Actually, any distance from the center to a surface is a radius. This is also what? Radius. Am I correct, children? Okay. Oh, how do we write the formula for the volume of a spherical balloon or a sphere? We're looking for what? The rate by which the radius is changing or increasing. The derivative of what? Of x with respect to or r. r is our variable for the radius. Derivative of r with respect to what? To time. The moment the radius is equal to what? 30 centimeters. Yeah. And the rate of entering nung gas, how fast is the volume enter, is entering the balloon, guys? Guys, how far is it what? It is entering. The gas. The gas is entering at the rate of 800 cubic cubic centimeters for every minute. Okay, children? Because that's volume. How to get the volume nga? Anong formula? What's the volume for for spherical, guys? For sphere? Four thirds pi r cube. No? We're going to differentiate this relative to t. Or the derivative of b with respect to t is equal to hmm, Oh, what's the value here? So four thirds pi. Do not substitute thirty, ha? Huh? At the uh, uh, immediately you are going to substitute up there. What differentiating? Okay, because you want to determine the rate, the moment it is thirty thirty degrees ang radius. Kuko ni mo na yung mga rate. Oh, four thirds pi hmm, times three r squared derivative of R with respect to T. 
Oh. Okay, guys. Oh, simplifying, we get oh, three is cancelled, right? Oh, cancelled out. Oh, ano yung natira? Derivative ng V with respect to T equals 4 pi R squared derivative of R with respect to T. But this is what we are looking for, derivative of R. Or substitute 800 is equal to 4 pi times radius square E times the, what is the rate ng R? We don't know with respect to time because that's what we are looking for. Or what is the derivative of R with respect to time, guys? Oh, calculate for every minute because that's radius. So let's answer the question. The balloon's radius is increasing at 9 over 2 or at the rate or you can write it just the automatic the rate immediately, even without the use of rate. 9 over 2 over 9 pi centimeter for every minute. Okay, children? Guys? Okay, what about number four? A sand and a gravel plant, at a sand and gravel plant, sun is falling off a conveyor and onto a conical pile at a rate of 10 cubic feet per minute. So there is a conical pile, meaning parang merong hulmahan na nakalagay na doon, yung conical pile. No? At ano ang sabi? O kaya para siyang nagpo-form ng conical pile. Normally, nakakita kayo na yung sand na binugos. Di ba normally nagpo-form yan ng pabilog na? Pero mas mabilis to lumapad ang diameter kaysa height. Get it guys? Or something like this approximately conical pile. Is that clear, guys? Children? Yan. Uh, that is how it looks like. And then, like this, so para ng pamay pile. Oh, that's the, yan. sand is falling off. O yan, yan daw yung mga sun. Yung mga pino yan eh. Pailagyan natin ng tsak 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 tsak. Yan, mga sun yan, sun. Okay, children? Oy, guys. Pero ang ganda ng kulay sa labas ng pink. Ang kulay ng sun. O yan, ang sun. Ang dami. Kunyari, may pusa na tabunan. Ang pusa. Alam niyo ba kung paano gumawa ng dog? Ganto daw ang paggawa ng dog. Eh. Tingnan ko nga kung kaya ko. Pagagawa ka raw ng tatdal yan yan. Patapos, ganto daw yan. Patapos. Yan. Sabi lang, ganito nakita ko lang. Aw, 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 aw. Oh, see, guys? Di ba I have a cute dog? Guys, oh, you know how to make a cute dog. Guys. Oh, diameter. Ano daw ang diameter, children? Ito yung diameter, eh. Guys, this is the diameter, right? Oh, ano ang diameter, guys? Equal yan sa twice the radius. Am I correct? Oh, twice the radius yan. Diameter. 2 times r. And this is the height. That's the height. Oh, what is the required? At what rate is the height? So derivative of h with respect to time. When what? The moment your height is, the height of the pile is 15 feet. Hmm. Kaya hindi naman aaralin yan kung hindi nangyayari. Kaya nga may mga program. Oh, dahil ng mga formula lang yan dinirive na nga lang. Oh, pero without calculus, you will not able to measure that. Okay? Oh, volume. Hmm. 
pag conical, one third. Conical, understood na ito ay right circular conical, right circular cone. One third pi r is squared times the height. But what is height? Mm. Ang height daw ay equal sa ang children. Guys, anong height? Anong sabi sa height, children? The diameter is equal to what? The diameter, which is 2 times the radius, is equal to or approximately 3 times the height or the altitude. Or what is R? 3H over 2. O substitute, volume, is equal to 1 third pi times R squared. What is R squared? 3H over 2 quantity squared times the H. Or simplifying the volume, that is equal to 9 over 3, that is 3 over 4 pi H cube. Or what's the derivative of B? With respect to time, guys, mm. that is 9 over 4 pi h squared derivative of h with respect to t. Pakicheck na kung tama yung differentiate ko. 3, 9 over 4, no? O substitute, ang volume mm. ay nagpo-form ang conical pile ng anong 10 cubic feet for every minute. O 10 na lang lagay natin. 9 over 4 pi times what? Hmm. Ano yung H, guys? 15 feet na times hmm. derivative ng H with respect to time. We don't know. Okay, it's already time. Oh, what's the value, guys? Anyone? Could you please? Children, 8 over 405 pi, tama? P put per minute. Wala pang 1 put yan, per minute. 40 divided by 9 divided by 15 divided by 15 uh, divided by pi. Approximately, anong approximate niyan guys? Guys, guys, approximately what? Maliit lang siya, no? 0 0.0063 foot for every minute. Ganyan lang siya duman, dumaki. Okay, pakicheck na lang yung value, guys. Ha? Okay? Children, yes, parang sir. may mali yata. O 3 lang yata ito. 9 divided by 3, 3. No? At de, tama. 3 ports. Okay. 3 ports. Okay. O, tama na? Guys? Children? Oi, guys. Yes, sir. Okay. O, that's it, guys. Hmm. I have a question. Bob. Okay. 